October 29th, 2020. I am not in any way giving anyone financial advice. I'm just telling you and showing you how I trade and what helps me out. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning. I lost track of time, so I missed uh, the opportunity to log in earlier. But I'm watching this uh, UUU right now, and I'm also watching uh, GWPH, sorry, GWHP and ORN. Those are my top three I'm watching right now. Uh, currently, UUU is trading 15 million shares. Cur currently, it's on a, uh, a pullback. I haven't traded anything yet. It's trading 14, sorry, 15 million shares and 2 million share float. So that's tiny float. I'm waiting for this move up uh, above 478. What are we going to say 490 for a bull candle for a possible buy in for a run up? One year, one minute, showing a pullback. Perfect. That's what I want to see. So you want that candle to surpass its previous green and hold support. So right now it's not stable. I haven't traded anything yet. It's up 120% right now. So everybody's everybody's watching it. The next stop is pins, which is 65 bucks. Let me take a look at my long-term account. I haven't traded anything yet. I'm just trying to see what's going on. Look at uh HUSN up 301%. I missed that. Oh, that's a reverse split. Never mind. You, you, you. So anybody, who, here we go. I'm waiting for that bull. There we go, right there. Ah, uh, missed the buy-in. Oh, I had a thousand shares, not a hundred. <laughs> See, it's one of them days I missed the buy-in. I had a thousand shares in my small account, not a hundred, which cost me that buy-in. I tried to get in at 480. Now I gotta wait for the pullback now. God dog it. We know by now. There we go. Five bucks become that wall. If it pops through five bucks, we got room to run. Five bucks is now that uh imaginary wall. It's trading 18 million shares, up 150%. Here we go. I'm sorry, y'all. I haven't put nothing in the group. It's been one of the mornings. So I'm going to let you guys just try to figure it out. I'm confident. Y'all know more than me. Hell. Man, come on. Pop this five bucks. We popped this five out of mark. We got room to run. Look at this. It's almost 19 million shares traded on a 2 million share flow. This thing should halt immediately when it passes $5 mark. There we go. Pop that $5 mark and we gone. What's the news this morning? There we go. Pop 5 bucks. Pop 5 bucks. There we go. Go, 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 go. I need 48 bucks, right? 48 bucks, 10%. So 5.11 the high so far. It's going to go higher. Look at the one day, one minute chart. It's indecisive. Let's watch the one day, one minute. 511, the high of the day so far. It's going to pop that. What's the previous high? 180 day, four hour. It's the highest it's been in 180 days. Let's look at the one year, one day. Yeah, see that big old gap right there? That's crazy. Pop again, I'm gonna hop out of it for that quick little whatever it was game. It don't want to do much right now. I'm gonna watch it. It's trading way too many shares. Look at that. 21 million shares traded. It's no reason why this thing will cross 200 percent Uh where we at? Uh how about this? I'm looking for a buy-in point on my large account right now, so. I'm logging into my cell phone. I missed my buy-in point, as you saw. I put a thousand rather than a hundred, and it cost me my original buy-in. Okay. 
Hold on a second. On my cell phone, I'm looking for a buy-in point at 440 for a large for uh for my large uh, account trade. There we go. Still pulling back. I'm losing on the screen here, but yeah, I missed my opportunity. It happens sometimes. It's one of them days. It's one of them days. I was late getting to the party. Can't be late getting to the party. I'm looking for a 420 buy-in on my large account. I'm still watching it pull back. Let me hop in there, 426. All right. For a quick run to uh, the VWAP, 460, we're going to say. Yeah. Miss my day on buying. That sucks, man. How do I put a thousand shares? One of them days. One of them days. Let me look at pins as well. And pins been going nuts. I missed that one this morning too. Golly, I missed all the action. All right, what else going on? Look at that pullback on pins. Perfect buy opportunity right there on pins. Pola, P O L A. One million shares traded. Eleven million share float. Got some buyers coming in right there. I'm trying to figure this out on well, my cell phone. Trying to make some money at the same time. Uh, uh, looking for a 302 to three, uh, 320 buy. I mean, sale point on Polar. Almost hit 320. Almost there. Gonna hit it. Uh, what do you got going on over here? Let me check this right here. All right. What else we got? Advit, AVID, that's terrible. APOP, looking like it's going to reverse. It has a tiny float, 3 million share float. Well, 4 million share float, trading 2.5 million right now. On the reversal, perfect. VWAP 213, it's way over, way oversold. I'm going to try to hop in at 185 if it pulls back to that point. Then hop out of it at 205. Maybe it moved 213 if I'm lucky. Uh... Right, I got money in my small account. I keep an eye on. ORN. Don't like it. PPSI, what's up with this? Not trading many shares yet, it's up 11%. Something going on with that. UUU, consolidation on a one minute chart. Five day, 15 minute chart, consolidation. Look like I want to pull it back. The five day, five minute is pulling back. Missed that buy in point out here, that's crazy. That 480 buy in point should have 1,000 shares rather than 100. 
It's okay. You can't cry with spilled milk. Pins. Pins making the move. P I N S. I like what I see here. 68 bucks is evident. It's a. Uh, hold on. U U U. Pins. I like pins a lot. Look at that. The five minute chart. 70 bucks is around the corner. Uh, Polar. G O L A. Polar bipolar. <laughs> All right, we're going to watch it right here for a minute. 68 bucks is my sell point on pins. I'm in pins at 60, uh, where we at? What do I mean on pins at? Hold on. I'm in pins at 66.98. For sell point 68 bucks. It's past 68 bucks. There you go. I'm out. 68 bucks on pins. A pop. I'm in A pop at 185. Let me go to A pop. <clears throat> My sell point on A pop is 205. 205 to 211 mark. Let's see what happens. <phone rings> 205 is too close. Let me move my, my sell point a couple cents up. It's going to blow through 205. Hmm. What are you doing over here, A pop? Do something. Let me get out of A pop 205 and put it back down to 205. Sometimes I'm gonna give you what you want. You gotta take what it give you. U U U. In my large account, I'm in U U U at 426. I want to move it to 469 right here. The next bar be a hotter day again. Looked like pins halted on by. No, it didn't. It's still moving. All right. I'm done with this pins trade in my large account. We need a big bar to pile in on UUU to get that run back up. It should pop 200%. It's way overextended. Meanwhile, A pop is 202. I got my sell order 205. Let's see what happens. Look at the one minute. Maybe I should change my sell. My sell order for a little cheaper. Let's see. Are we good? It blowed this 205. We got room to run. There's plenty of room to run. Pop 205. Need one big buyer. Let's look at level one, level two over here. They come to buyers, but the buyers not they they they're not high up on the food chain. Low, one nineties. We need big buyers at two hundred five, two ten area. Meanwhile, here come you you you. Let me check it. Get ready for my sale. Let's go. It blow through this 474. We hitting the high today again. I got in way too late, as you guys saw. I put my sell order in. It didn't execute for me. I got caught. I mean, sorry, buy order in. Had too many shares by mistake. Double check, triple check. Make sure you're not fat fingering stuff like I did earlier, and you'll be all right.
We got room to run. Let me put in the group. Don't miss opportunity. I see you quick. There we go. Come on. Come on. Blow this 480. We got room to run. Let's get rid of them shorts. It's taking out shorts is what it's doing. It's taking out all these daggone shorts. I'm okay with that. Take out all them daggone shorts. It's taking out all them shorts. Perfect. Let me go back over here in my chart too. I can watch it from right here. All right, eight pop. Did it pop two hundred five yet? Let me look at my my large account and see what it did. I see you quick. Make that money, bro. Uh, Pole over here being bipolar still. They got my 205 point right there on APOP. Bottom right, it popped 205 twice. My sell point is 205. Take your profit and run sometimes. <clears throat> Did my order sell? A pop. Where my sell order at? Why didn't it complete? Oh man, didn't sell. Why didn't it sell? My limit order is 205. Why didn't it sell? Okay. Looks like UUU is indecisive. Look up here. I'm going to draw a channel for you guys. This channel right here. Here. We're gonna draw right here lower. So either way of the channel, you see, since this morning, way back here, it been around the whole channel the whole morning since it ran up on news. So when it pops this and have a candle that's that holds above this point, that's the move up we're looking for. So we need one candle to hold above this 462 mark. I'm gonna put in the group as well. If we get one candle to hold above 462, we got room. Need to make four sixty two support. All right, so what we got going on here? Let me see. Polar, not doing much. A pop, indecisive. Here go Tup. Part two with Tup. I'm in. Uh, I'm out of pins already. So I put Tup over here. Here go Part two with Tup. Yesterday Tup made some moves. Today, like it's back. I put it in a group that tough is back. Look at the top left, a UUU. That channel I drew earlier, look at the channel. It's riding that whole channel the whole time. Tup is a buy right now for sure. For a run up to 30, uh, 34. We look 34 window. Yeah, 34 is the next stop for Tup.
hit 33, they go 33. 34, the next stop. It's in the group. In the group, they go 33 37. Now, see with my UUU trade, I should have got in way sooner. As you guys saw, I pushed the wrong uh, uh, limit, and then I waited for a bit because I was already, uh, already thrown off my order being filled way later than I wanted it to. Then I missed my daggone sell point. Look at the top right over here on this tub. I put a need, it's gonna hit 34 bucks in the group. Well, the high so far is 33.75. And it's bullish right now, so it should have this, this 34 dollar mark pretty easy. Here we come. Top right. Here we come. Top, 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 top. 33.75 is the high. It tap once. Come this top, here come 34. There you go. Almost. There we go. 3668. 47. Let's go, Tup. 3350. You want 34. You know it. I'm looking at the top right here if you guys want to know what I'm looking at. I'm watching this, this movement right here the whole time. It wants 34 bucks for sure. 3364. Blow through it. 60. Uh man, let's keep it keep banging. 64 again. 660. It's gonna blow through to 65. And it's gonna hit this 34 buck mark. I'm watching the top right. It's in the group. We need one big bar to pop in there. It's gonna blow through 34 bucks. 68. 65. Here come Polar, as you see, Polar moving, bottom left right here. He kind of bull count on Polar, and here come my channel here on UUU. Here we go. Here come this UUU. It's in the group. I said need. A one candle above 462 to find support. And that's going to be the move you need right there on the UUU. Also, on this uh, Pola, P O L A, it's moving slowly but surely. All right, here go the candle right here above 462. It created the candle right above it. Perfect. Now we need one move. It's going to be a green candle. You see here it's indecisive, right? Right? If it turns uh burgundy and this candle is green, that becomes your support. We're looking for. And here comes this uh polar for move to 420. I'm gonna draw a line right here as well. Draw it for 34. And we're gonna watch. It's a candle here. All right. Meanwhile, 
you, 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 still moving like this, as you see. It's still moving in this channel the whole morning. Perfect. You want to blow out this and create a candle above it to hold support. Right now, it's not doing that. When that happens, we got room to run past 511, 520, maybe even six bucks. Look at the three year one week and see what it's doing right now. Come on, man. This thing keep clicking off. Of so, it looks like this thing ain't never been that low. Oh, you know what? A few months ago, they, they reverse split it. That's what it was. Right. And they moved the, the float size down the price. Or was it a forward split? They changed the whole outcome. It's too high. So, you won't find a history that long. I forgot about that. Just remember that. So, you won't find a long history. Yeah. Here come 320. There you go. Right here in this freaking uh, polar. Here come 320. It's also in the group. Come on, man. Damn. There he is. This pop 320. <laughs> oh, man. It's too easy. I screwed up in this UUU trade, though. It's okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to make some trades with my cell phone and put, type in the group at the same time. But we got the four stocks I'm, I'm either watching or already traded or currently about to trade. All right. Pins. Okay. We're gonna watch it for a little bit longer. My video is almost in a half hour. If you know by now, I don't make try not to make videos longer than a half hour because people uh value their time. And don't want to spend like an hour or two on the on internet watching a trading video. At least personally, I wouldn't. So, as you see here, also you you you, the whole day so far, it's been riding this freaking BWAP. Dang it, the whole freaking day, right? Yeah. So need to hold support above this line I drew right here, and we gone. I think it will. My uh, POLA, I put in the group earlier. It did pop 320 right on the nose. However, this A pop, it banged 205 several times. I called that as well. Then I drew another line later on. So my 205 point hit, my 320 point hit, my $34 point about to hit, and we support here above this uh, 462 mark. But I, did call, I did call it passing this uh, previous candle, which it did, and I bought in, but... It was all a messed up trade, and it barely blew up there. That was terrible right there. So we watched this hiccup on this polar. I'm sorry, Tup again, making that move. 
you you make a move again as well. Perfect. 34. We need 462 support. And we good on both of these. Meanwhile, over here on this freaking A pop. Do much nothing over there. Here we go. Low through it, hold support at 462. Let me black me blast past five bucks. And I hop out. My sell point right now is technically right here at 492. This would be the median. This is the low bar. This is the high bar. You see now it hasn't traded that often in the high space, right? It's only trading in the low space. So it has to reverse that trend and trade in the high space. Once it trades in the high space, it's going to blow through that point. When it goes to this point here, we got room to run to 550, which is fine with me. Here comes the move we're looking for. There we go, 480. Let me go to my trade icon. Let's watch it for a move up. Let's go. Blow through this freaking four, 495 mark. We got room to run. I'm going to put in the group as well. 495 is not resistance, which it is. Come on, blow through it. Need some buyers. Here come level two. Here come the buyers. Here come the buyers. Here come the buyers. You got to talk to the stock sometime, you know? When you talk to them, listen to you sometime. You got to talk to them. You got to be nice to the stocks. <laughs> uh, 495 is resistance. Is resistance. On. You, you, you. Now, right now, if I wasn't logged on making this video, I would put a sell order in with a trading stop to hop out the stock. But I don't want to buy see me information, so I'm not going to do that. But it blow this candle here. It blow this point. We gone. We need one big bar to pile in here, and we got room to run. And here it comes. See that movement? Indecisiveness, right? Reversal, right? Here come the buyers, right? Perfect. Level two is going to show you we got not many sellers, a bunch of buyers. The video is 33 minutes. I'm about to log off now. I'll post later in the group while I sold that. One trade away.